live on Facebook. Say what's up real quick. What's going on? What's going on, Dante, Dante Nation uh, fans? Bo Mac. Bo Mac, Terrence Crawford trainer right here. Watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? Well, the wait is almost over, but this big fight, Errol Spence versus Mikey Garcia, is today. This is one of the biggest fights of the year, no doubt about it. But I thought it was pretty interesting uh, what Errol Spence said in one of his recent interviews. There's one fighter in the welterweight division that Mikey Garcia and Errol Spence respects more than any other fighter, and that is Terrence Crawford. And he talks about Terrence Crawford in this recent interview. Errol Spence, he admitted that he likes Terrence Crawford. And that was the feeling I pretty much got when I seen them meet face to face. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and quote exactly what he had to say. I kind of like Terrence Crawford because I feel he's being himself. A lot of dudes in boxing are fake. Guys like Keith Thurman. I don't like him. Guys like that try to play a role. Whenever me and Terrence fight, we will bring the best out of each other. That will definitely be a super fight. End quote. You know, I find it pretty interesting that Mikey Garcia and Errol Spence, they have something in common. They both believe that Terrence Crawford is a tougher challenge. Mikey Garcia, he said going into this Errol Spence fight that he prefers to fight Errol Spence rather than Terrence Crawford because he doesn't like Terrence Crawford's style. He said he's just going to move around the ring, etc., etc. But that makes no sense because we know Mikey Garcia, he moves around the ring especially when he's in there with a very aggressive fighter like an Orlando Salido. And I expect him to move in this fight against Errol Spence. But obviously, when he says he doesn't like Terrence Crawford's style, that simply translates to he feels Terrence Crawford is more versatile. He feels that Terrence Crawford can do many different things compared to Errol Spence. This is the way Mikey sees it. Mikey looks at Errol Spence as a come forward fighter come forward he looks at him as not having as many dimensions as a terrence crawford by way of contrast when it comes to crawford he can fight on the inside he can fight on the outside he can box circle the ring he can switch from righty to lefty so that poses a lot more challenges to mikey garcia at least that's his point of view but all i can say about that is this definitely proves the winner of this fight today against terrence crawford is definitely going to be a super fight. It's gonna be a real super fight. I mean, even the fight today is somewhat of a super fight. Just the winner of this fight versus Terrence Crawford will be even bigger. I've already told you guys, the fact that George Foreman, Mike Tyson, Sugar Ray Leonard, and some other people are actually picking Mikey Garcia to win this fight, that proves that Errol Spence is going to get the credit he deserves if he beats Mikey Garcia today. That means his status will definitely be catapulted. So if Errol Spence wins, it's a big win. And it could be argued that he's pound for pound the best fight in the world. Him and Terrence Crawford, they're going to have to fight that out. But if Mikey Garcia wins, it's an even bigger win because he's the underdog coming up in weight. But however this fight plays out, I really, really commend Mikey Garcia for taking this fight, especially at a time when nobody would get in the ring with Errol Spence. And it looked like he was going to end up becoming another body snatcher, Mike McCollum, to where he would never get his opportunity to be on the big stage against the best fighters. It's pretty funny how a lot of fighters, usually when they don't want to fight someone, the common excuse is the guy doesn't have a big name. I'm not going to make a lot of money fighting this guy, etc., etc. Now, with this type of win, if Errol Spence beats Mikey Garcia, he becomes the biggest star in the welterweight division. And it could be argued that he's the best. Once again, that could either be Terrence Crawford or Errol Spence. But this is good for Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence because the two most avoided fighters are the two fighters that are at the top of the division. So that means none of the other welterweights have any more excuses not to get in the ring with them. And honestly, when they see somebody as small as Mikey Garcia, who's willing to get in the ring, that alone should make welterweight say, you know what, man, Mikey trying to make us look bad. 
if he could get in there with Arrow, I'm going to get in there with Arrow. Now, there were reports that Sean Porter said that he's going to get in the ring and call out Errol Spence if he wins this fight today. Let's see what happens. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one.